I saw a lot of people lamenting in the comments section of my Takamura video about the people they wished they could romance in their game but couldn't. Some were characters that we can't romance at all right now, like Vic, a guy I completely agree with wanting to romance. I should do a video on that alone, honestly, because he would have been a great option. But what really got me thinking was that a lot of people were just wanting to romance existing love interests, but as a different sex, i.e. romancing Pan Am as a woman, or Carrie as a woman, or River and Judy as a guy. And that got me thinking even more. What was the point of locking out these romances? Why should we only get one per sex, or two if you want to include who's available per sex? Look at Baldur's Gate 3. They made everyone buy. Everyone. And so anyone can romance whoever the heck they want to. Why not go this route? It seems stupid to put all of that work into a character and then say only this V can romance them. What's even more confusing is that the very love interests we're told we can't have, well, they have a tendency to lead you on. For instance, as a female, Pan Am becomes extremely flirty during the mission when you rescue Saul, Riders on the Storm. In the aftermath, while you're hiding out in the dump during the sandstorm, after Saul goes to sleep, you're just chilling on the couch and she puts her feet up on your lap. Now, depending on your choices here, you might find out that Pan Am isn't into you, or you might not. In my first time through the dialogue, I bypassed her flirtiness by saying I had to go to sleep, so I never really knew what could have happened. You can choose to touch her thigh, though, and she'll just shut you down. But it makes you wonder if it's because she just doesn't like you, or maybe she just doesn't like you yet. She never directly says, I'm not into women, and I have to wonder why she put her legs up on me in the first place if she wasn't remotely interested. It sure seems Seems like a good bit of a tease, doesn't it? And that's not the only one who leads you on. When you go to Carrie's house before you leave to go rescue Nancy, if you follow Carrie upstairs and talk to him, he will say something about needing a power nap, and then he'll ask if you want to join him. Johnny pops in and says he's joking, but if you didn't already know he was a male-only romance option, you'd definitely wonder, can I get with him? But I mean, we're talking about a game where you're hanging out with this legendary rocker in your head the whole time, and you can't romance him. So why not his bandmate? It's a hell of a lot more exciting than the guy who lives with his sister and her two kids. Sorry, River. I've got to say, it's incredibly frustrating that as a straight woman, you get this guy River as your only male option. To be fair, he's an absolute nobody in light of the story. He should have been an additional romance option, not a mainline one. Look at Judy. She's a part of the main story. You first meet her at Lizzie's bar through Evelyn in direct line of the main plot. Then there's Pan Am, another mainliner. She has her own stinking ending and several quests that advance the story. Then there's Carrie, who is a main part of Johnny's story which by extension is your story. And here, us straight ladies get river. Nothing to do with anything. It just feels like somebody screwed something up here. Am I alone in feeling this way? Were we originally supposed to get Jackie as a main love interest and somewhere along the line, when Keanu jumped on board, they decided to drop him? We know they showed him dying in the 2019 trailer, but was it always supposed to be that way? They didn't even confirm that Jackie wouldn't be a romance until April of 2020. So it's very likely that they could have made a change within that last year or so to cut him as a romance. And that's why female V doesn't have a male option that's connected to the story at all. What are your thoughts on all of this? I'd say one thing that would make a lot of these problems go away is to just allow everyone to romance anyone. Make them all buy. And there you go. That fixes many of the problems. But it doesn't fix them all. There is still some serious lack in this game, especially if you're a straight female V. I'd have to play through as a guy to see if Carrie's romance is any good, but from what I know right now, Rivers does not cut it for me. And why not add more? Like Takamura, like Vic, like Saul. Ugh. Even Mateo. There are so many good options that were completely overlooked, and I'm really hoping that CDPR intends to correct this. I hope they consider it important enough to them to do something about it, you know? At this point, I don't know if that's going to happen, though. I've heard about free DLC, but is that just going to be something like major bug fixes, new guns, new missions? Is wanting a completely new set of romance options too much to ask for? I tell you what, CDPR, even though I think it should have been added with the base game, I wouldn't be past paying for a romance expansion. Give me the whole freaking package. Takamura, Victor, throw in like at least four different options for me. And if you give me Yorinobu, ooh. 
you'd make me a happy girl. But what we have now is just not good enough, and I know I'm not the only one who feels that way. Look at what people are saying. Almost everyone has something to complain about, because it's ridiculous to expect that romance and attraction is one size fits all. It's never going to be that way. And while you're at it, even though it might not seem really important, it would be great if you guys would consider adding romances, or heck, even just main story friends as a combat companion. I could see having to leave them at home for important story missions, but the mechanic for them to follow you in a mission is already there. Just take it to the next level and let us feel like we're hanging out with our friends or even our romance, right? Okay, I think that's about all I have to say on the subject for now. Been having a lot of ranting and raving thoughts on romance in this game. It's funny because I know a lot of people are unhappy with cyberpunk, and I'm definitely not happy with everything either, but I've also got to say, I think it's worth complaining and making suggestions, especially if I ever want my words to be heard. Because at the end of the day, I really do like the game. Some of the game has really touched me in ways I didn't see coming. Ways I didn't even think possible, honestly. And that's what I think makes me so upset, that they went so far, but then didn't go the extra mile. I'd like to see them fix this up. I'm not ready to give up on the game just yet. Even though it is really frustrating to think of what I expected versus what I actually got. But that's hype for you. Give me your thoughts in the comments. I'll see you guys later.